A Virginia Tech student is bringing attention to the school's gun policy. Currently, Virginia Tech does not allow any weapons on campus other than pocket knives under four inches. That's something senior Ryan Martin would like to see change, and he's doing that with a protest during President Tim Timothy Sands' first State of the University address later today. WSLS 10's Rob Match explains. Martin says the prohibition of weapons actually causes a safety issue. He says if Virginia Tech was ever the site of an active shooter again, like it was in 2007, students and teachers would not be able to defend themselves. Right now, Tech's policy not only prohibits guns, but tasers and pepper spray as well. The only weapons allowed are pocket knives under four inches in length. Martin says police can't respond as fast as someone who is on scene in an emergency, but many don't share his views, like Radford Professor of criminal justice, Todd Burke. What we saw almost 10 years ago is that um, 32 students and faculty members had to wait for over 10 minutes um, while their assailant was able to fire 170 rounds. Um, and they didn't have anything to protect themselves uh, but the very desks that they were sitting in. School shootings, campus shootings are rare. Now, we're hearing a lot about them because they are happening more often, but in the grand scheme of things, they are rare. What may not be rare is uh, a student-to-student -student encounter, a student-to-professor encounter with a weapon. Martin has been undergoing a week-long hunger strike in protest of the policy. The school responded, saying it respects his right to civil protest. Martin has been protesting in front of the president's office all week and plans to be there starting today at 6.30 this morning. He says he's endured a lot of ridicule for standing up for what he believes, but he says the support he's found outweighs all of it. In studio, Rob Manch, WSLS 10.